My first reaction when I was invited by the museum to work alongside and have a dialogue with Monet was one of overwhelm, honour and fear. But the more I looked at the paintings, the more interested I became, and so it became an exciting opportunity, really, to uh, push my work in different directions. One of the things that really interested me about Monet's work was an anecdote that was told to me while I was walking around the museum. Monet had a canvas at seven in the morning, eight, nine, ten, because the light changed, he had these uh, canvases set up so he could capture the light the next day and uh, deal with those different aspects of how time changed. And I, I really started thinking about time in terms of painting, like painting is a sedimentary activity. You add layers and time is recorded. And I just really became interested in the relationship between paint and time, colour, light, etc. The first painting that I chose really stood out to me because it was actually the way it was painted. You know, as a painter, you recognise the process that somebody's gone through. And a lot of the foreground of that painting is actually the background of the painting itself. So, for instance, the smoke that's in the foreground, he's left a lot of the raw canvas showing through, so he's kind of painted the stuff around it. If the first painting I, I chose was a very urban scene, and painted in a particular style. This was a very natural scene. And my life is also torn between a city and the countryside. And I wanted to approach this idea so, uh, by painting something urban in the style of the natural painting. I, I think technology has had a huge influence both on Monet and me. For instance, Monet's painting changes obviously because of the advent of photography and photography being single point perspective, the artist in one location looking out at the world and then we see his or her painting and develop a more sensitivity to nature through that activity. And the question was how does he put his psyche and his emotion and his feeling into this surface? But now we live in a slightly different technology where it's no longer about a single point perspective, but it's a networked perspective. The painting behind me is called All Our Endings. And if the painting of London at night and day was just a 24 hour period, and the four seasons was a year, this was about an entire life. When I was looking at the Monet had painted of the lake, I realised when I went up to it that there was many different colours and it formed into a colour field. So I wanted to take paintings of clouds from the last thousand years and I wanted to put them all together into one picture, blend them together as if it was a single skyscape and talk something about all the sunsets, all the clouds that we experience in a lifetime that somehow are embodied in our sense of time passing in the surface of the painting.